We need Do we want these dwarven settlers to be here or way back over there? Uh, which one has better stats and easier reachability? This one has both. Okay. Here. <laughs> and the boat can just chill until those guys are done with their adventure. Yes. And then it can take them either somewhere else or something. Mm-hmm. And we need to work on making more uh, things. We have, want an adventuring pottery and everything else with things protecting it. Because not only is there roaming monsters, but we're expecting an attack from the other side. For what it's worth, when we uh, encounter the other races, it will probably be peaceful, unless they're jerks, for a reasonable-ish length of time. There are other undead uh, masters out there. I saw them. I think that more or less Mm. means jerks. Mm. This depends. I don't know if we're up against undead masters, but... There are a lot of jerks, yes. It is statistically far more likely that we will encounter jerks than that we will encounter people that are not jerks. And I hope you don't mind, but I'm assigning um, a good unit to every city on the continent now. That is what I was telling you to do. Yeah. From our reserve that's standing there right next to the tower. Well, how many did we stick on the tower? (laughs) Enough for one unit for every city on the continent. Wow. Plus two uh, of these guys. We almost had half an adventuring party. That's awesome. So each town needs to have at least one golem. I would prefer two. A regiment of good fighters. And give them some ghouls too. Whatever we have handy. For what it's worth, I think ghouls will cause unrest. Oh, damn. So we have to stick with the other mm. ones. Little trolls are nice. They are. And golems. What about the hellhounds? We could summon hellhounds. Hellhounds would be perfect for that. Yeah. Nice diversifying them. I think we might want this spell just going by your playstyle so far. Okay. It's like Firebolt, except the victim might become undead. Ooh, nice. Anything that lets us steal the other people's troops. What is -hmm. is in there? War bears. I figured you'd say yes. Yeah, war bears are easy. If that's what's all that's in there. There could be an air elemental. Oh, God. You never know. Oh, God. It's unlikely. They usually don't coexist. But air elementals are invisible, so we'd never know until it hit us. We appear to have slaughtered the war bears. Yes, indeed. So, it's not a problem. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Nice. I'm going to show you the description of that in just a second. Ooh. You are going to like that. When equals us. So we can choose between either of these, or we can uh, put them on the water so they can build terrible dwarven boats. Well, they're going to be on the water anyways. We got a river right there. Yeah. 18. Is 18 our high? 18 is maximum population. Wait, look at this. Plus 30 gold bonus. Mm. Plus 38 production. As opposed to 29 and 20. Yeah, go with the one less. Alright, how much of our war party do we want to leave with the settlement? Uh, what, what are, What's our war party's layout? Two golems, one war troll, and a bunch of undead. Mm, one golem, give him the war troll, who's the last remaining war troll from them to retire and rule mm-hmm. over them. Anything else? 
Everything else here is undead. Okay, don't leave the undead there. Uh, yeah, we need to grab another regiment and stick it there and then make a new adventuring party. Do we want to leave the golem here then, or...? Yeah. Well, that way it'll be well protected. Yes. Because... These guys can go back on the boat, I guess. Where will we want to send them once they're on the boat? Uh, up to gather more adventurers. Where are our heroes at? Mm, I think we have them stationed in our main city. Yeah, here they are. They're both just chilling. Do they not have some awesome stats now or something? Uh, they were just kind of... They won't let... We didn't take them with us. They won't level up if we don't take them. Actually, Gunther's been leveling up even though he's been sitting around in town forever. He's... What is he leveling up in? Whoring and booze? I... I probably. <laughs> I don't know. But it doesn't specify, so he's just becoming a better fighter, too. Who knows? <laughs> Must be getting a lot of bar fights. Yeah, bar fights. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Oh, man. I don't ask. I like the white-haired girl. Look, we've made her pretty fancy. For what it's worth, this axe isn't all that great. If we can find another one, we might want to consider... Switching it and giving that to him? Yeah. This is also not excellent, but it's not bad. This is reasonable. It's not like we actually use them in the battles anyways. Yeah, granted. Granted. But it looks good to have them there, and they're good backup. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice that little readout thing on the lower left. This is the total gold, mana, and food we're spending on units each turn. Cool. That's a lot. Are they being worth it? I think so. Cool. <laughs> uh, man. Right, right. Hellhounds. Yes. Bring out some hellhounds just for defensive purposes. Two units each city. Mm. Let's, let's cool it on adventuring until we've got some hellhounds. Just gather up some... Mind if I station these ones in our capital? Yeah, go ahead. Because the only tough unit it's got is one golem. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And you can come back over here, I guess, for... Meh... I this mental image of a scene in my head of, of her going and finding him in a bar and, and hauling him out by the ear to go out and do things. <laughs> This is plausible. <laughs> You're just putting her as the responsible one because she's your favorite, though. Yes. <laughs> she so, we have a dwarven city to name. Oh. Rename that Asgard and make it stop being stupid. Okay, so we've got a couple of things going on. We've explored a pretty good chunk of this. Is there anything we've got left in? The upper right corner of the map. Ah, well, let's see what's there. Oh, right, I was going to show you something. I'll totally show you something after this. <laughs> Ocean? Ocean! And volcanic islands. Ooh! I guess that's nice. And this... There could be a landmass hidden looks here, like sort of. Something-ish. Mm, it's a little space. Eh, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. But. It's easier than sending that little boat around. Change terrain. It makes, uh... The terrain type one better for, um... For settlements. Cool! So we find an already awesome settlement and we make it even better. Yes. Can we change it after we can... we've settled? 
Uh, yeah, you can cast it on a place where there's already a city. Oh, make our home better. Sweet. Let's see what type it is currently. Actually, it's grassland, so we can't make this better, but we might be able to make neighboring areas different. We could make this place produce more food. Yes, that's what it's for, isn't it? It is. 